A while ago, Hank Green of the Vlog Brothers made a video on sexuality. You know, different people talking about their experiences, and I thought, you know, maybe it's a good time to talk about my sexuality. I don't think sexuality is really an important thing when you're getting to know somebody, but I feel like asexuality is really underrepresented as a whole, and so I thought I'd talk a little bit about it and my experiences. Before I really get into that, I just want to say that sexuality is really, really fluid. You could be a heterosexual male and still think guys are freaking beautiful or attractive or what have you. You can be a gay guy and think women's, you know, bodies are banging. It's complicated. It's not as simple as we make it. And we use labels to try and make it simple, but, you know, it's just really not how it works. And even though these labels may seem insensitive, we only really do it to try and make things easier for ourselves. But I really just believe in, you know, go along and live your life who you, how you want to and love who you want to love and all that. As I was growing up, I realized that I didn't really feel the same way about people and crushes and boys the way that most of the girls I knew felt about boys. I didn't really have crushes on boys. I didn't have crushes on girls. And that was really confusing for me because I thought, you know, everybody did that. So when I got into, you know, fifth, sixth grade, and I realized that I felt the same way about boys and girls, I thought, oh, well then I must be bisexual. Being the gullible and stupid person I was, I told my friends, you know, I thought, yeah. Now, these friends were probably not the best friends to have. We weren't really that close, and I shared too much information, and so the, you know, word got around, and people kind of teased me about it. I was just kind of mad. I mean, it wasn't the teasing really that I minded. It just, it bothered me that they thought it was any of their business. As I got older, I kind of ignored that and I learned, you know, you know, I don't really care what they think. But then I also started realizing, wow, I don't feel attracted to guys and I don't feel attracted to girls. Something must be wrong with me. And this was in... I think 7th or 8th grade and I was genuinely freaked out. I thought, crap, there's something wrong with me, I'm sick, I'm not normal, I'm broken. That's not true. In fact, I actually had reason to believe that something was wrong with me as because of a, a accident in my early childhood that I really thought that maybe I was broken. I asked somebody about it and they said that, that that was something that happened. They said it's asexuality and it's not common, but it happens. And so I started to learn a little bit more about it. Here are some common misconceptions about asexuality. One, it does exist. It does happen. For me personally, I'm a biromantic asexual, which means I can have relationships with either guys or girls. I just really am not interested in the sex part. Now, there are different kinds of asexuals. There's, you know, homoromantic, heteroromantic, and aromantic, which means either you, you want to have relationships with the same gender, but not the sex. You want to have relationships with the opposite gender, but not the sex. And there's aromantic, which means you don't really want a relationship with anybody at all, in any way, that's romantic or sexual. Asexuals can date anybody they want. It's perfectly normal. You just don't really want the sex part, or you just don't want it as much. Again, it's a fluid thing. There's just, like, little to no sexual drive. Who you date does not determine your sexuality or what you want to do with your gender, your gender identity, or anything at all. I'm still asexual, even if I've dated people even if I've kissed people, and even if I decide someday that I want to have sex or have children, I'm still asexual. My choices don't necessarily reflect my sexuality. Thanks, Hank. That was a really good video that you did, and I'm really glad that I could take part.